Hello and welcome to video number four of my creative writing sentence starter series. Now within this video what I want to present to you guys is a sentence starter to use in paragraph number four which is your resolution paragraph. Remember guys especially for those who are maybe coming across just this video this video is part of a creative writing sentence starter series where I present with you a phrase that you can use to start every single paragraph in your creative writing essay okay and when it comes to creative writing and story writing I suggest using a five paragraph structure following the mountain the story mountain framework okay starting off with the beginning build up problem resolution and ending okay that makes it five paragraphs and within this video I want to show you how you can now start going down the other side of the story mountain and resolving the issue and indicating to your reader that now there's going to be a downturn okay a denouement okay this is now where the problem has somehow been resolved or you're in the process of resolving this issue and the tension is now starting to ebb away now i'm going to present you the phrase that you can use to start any resolution paragraph and I'll tell you why this is a really powerful phrase that you could use that hits both the AO5 and the AO6, which is tested in this part of your exam. So now the grade nine phrase that you could use to start off your resolution paragraph is the following. Thud, thud, thud. The hammering in my chest relented. By the way, relented means slowed down. Again, ambitious vocabulary. Now, I'm going to quickly go over it again, but then I'm going to point out specific techniques that I've used, and then I'm going to show you how that hits the AO5 and AO6, which is tested in your creative writing stories, okay? So, I use repetition, thud, 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 but also ellipsis, showing that, you know, I was feeling really scared, really tense, maybe I was fleeing something, or even, for example, someone, you know, opening the door, there's a creaking sound, and I'm just scared, right? So, in either way, your resolution paragraph follows on from your problem paragraph where you're facing some kind of tension. So, of course, your heart is going to be racing, right? So, now here, I'm showing that my racing heart is starting to slowly go down, okay? Using repetition, but also ellipsis. Equally, I then use hyperbole over exaggeration to show that, you know, this hammering, thudding heart is now starting to go down. The tension is now starting to decrease, okay? So the hammering in my chest relented. The word relented is really powerful, ambitious vocabulary. It just means it's slowed down. Now, let me walk you through why this is such a powerful grade nine phrase to use when it comes to creative writing. Number one, it hits the AO5s. Firstly, you're communicating imaginatively. You're showing that your protagonist, your character, is now starting to really slow down. You know, this threat is somehow being resolved. And of course, that tension is going down and you're doing so imaginatively. Equally, ambitious vocabulary. For example, the words relented, that's really powerful, ambitious vocabulary. Also, in terms of your tone, style, and register, the tone, there's a sense of still there's a bit of tension, okay, so that's the tone. The style in which you're writing this is obviously quite fluid, it's also quite formal, but equally, um, with register, whether it's formal, informal, of course, you're using a really important, uh, very crucial formal register, okay? Remember, register simply means, is it formal, is it informal? Obviously, try to avoid using informal phrases or abbreviations when you're writing creative writing, okay? And finally, in terms of structural features, hit an AO5, things like ellipsis and repetition, this is really powerful structure. And also, to be honest, this is also one word phrases that I'm using, okay? That's my AO5. But also, of course, I need to hit my AO6 points within this phrase. Firstly, Am I displaying technical accuracy? Am I making any spelling errors? No, I haven't made any uh, spelling errors. Therefore, this phrase and this sentence is technically accurate. Equally, in my area six, spag points, spelling and punctuation. Once more, I'm getting really, really powerful spag points, not only just using like normal full stops and just really generic phrases like, you know, commas, but also I'm taking it one notch up and using ellipsis. Equally, um, one of the things that's tested in AO6, which to be honest is kind of a little bit similar to AO5, right? This is the structural features, is do students make use of complex grammatical structures 
which is, you know, your repetitions, your listing, your anaphora, all of that. And of course, especially at the beginning of this phrase, this is lots of complex grammatical structures, okay? So my suggestion, especially when you're now starting your fourth paragraph in your creative writing story, when you're beginning your resolution, is begin by using this phrase because you're now showing that there's a denouement, right? There's this kind of now slowing down of action as your protagonist is resolving the issue, okay? So that's really it when it comes to video number four of the Creative Writing Sentence Starter series. And of course, next week, I'm gonna be doing the fifth and final video for creative writing. This is the ending phrase that you can use for any story. I hope you found this video useful and thanks so much for watching.